Some of the world's most luxurious and exclusive hotels, restaurants, and clubs can be found in Dubai, the capital of the United Arab Emirates. Due to this, Dubai's reputation these days is primarily for its glitz and glamour. However, just off its manicured shores are Dubai's world islands serving as a reminder of the nation's financial difficulties. What are the world's islands and how do they become one of the most ambitious projects ever undertaken? Hello and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe buttons because in this video, we'll tell you all about Dubai's ambitious project, the world islands. The world islands have been a subject of a lot of speculation ever since they were launched at the beginning of the 2000s. The controversial archipelago's life has been storied with rumors of celebrity purchases and outlandish and frequently incomplete hotel projects. After it was abandoned following the 2008 financial crash, hopes of completion looked slim. One of UAE's most ambitious projects came a sandy ghost town for many years. However, the prospects of the world islands, which were once abandoned, have also improved as Dubai has grown in popularity as a luxury vacation spot and investment hotbed. The opening of the 70-room resort by the global hotel group Anantara this year gave the destination new hope. So what is the world islands of Dubai all about? One of the most extravagant and ambitious projects ever created is the world islands Dubai, or to use its actual name, the world islands. It's an archipelago of small artificial islands shaped like a world map and is located approximately 2.5 miles off the coast of Dubai in the Persian Gulf. The world islands are a group of small islands that were made to resemble the world but in miniature. Each island is named after a country. The world islands, which were first announced in 2003, were expected to be the next big thing in opulent travel and members of the world's elite are eager to get in on the action. The world islands are an artificial archipelago rather than a natural phenomenon as is typical in Dubai's glimmering metropolis. The world islands are built by Nakheel Projects, a development firm based in Dubai renowned for several high-profile projects in the region including St. Regis, Dubai and the Palm. The artificial islands are made by transporting sand from the bay to a specific location and stabilizing it with millions of tons of rock. The global archipelago comprises of 300 islands, each measuring between 250,000 and 900,000 square feet. However, this ambitious development project was halted by the 2008 financial crisis despite the excitement generated by its announcement and the massive sales of individual islands. Despite the fact that only one island had been developed and the others were in various stages of completion, it was estimated that close to $15 billion had been spent. Developers have also been forced to refute rumors that the world's islands are sinking into the sea amid the blockage chaos. Why is it called the most ambitious project? Well, it was named so because the project's islands range in size from 1.4 to 4.2 hectares. The average distance between islands is 100 meters and they're all made of 386 million tons of rock and 321 million cubic meters of sand. The 3.7 by 5.6 mile development created by Creative Kingdom Dubai is encircled by an oval-shaped breakwater island. The world's islands have a total of 232 kilometers of shoreline that was created using manufactured technology. In 2005, the global development cost was estimated to be $13 billion. The archipelago is made up of seven sets of islands that represent the continents of Europe, Africa, Asia, North America, South America, Antarctica, and Oceania. Each artificial island is named after a country, landmark, or a region like France, California, Mount Everest, Australia, New Mexico, Upernavik, Buenos Aires, New York, Mexico, St. Petersburg, India, and New York City. The UAE and other Gulf countries have so much money that we often ignore their appalling human rights records and let them fund these crazy projects. Dubai was the first country to have a seven-star hotel, but they genuinely wanted the whole world. Sheikh Mohammed announced the project in May 2003, and construction started in September 2003. 60% of the islands had been sold by January 2008, and 20 of them had been purchased within the first four months of 2007. On January 10th, 2008, the last stone was laid for the breakwater, bringing the archipelago's construction to an end. However, the Times Online reported in September 2009 that work on the world's islands had been put on hold due to the global financial crisis. Even though 60% of the islands were sold to private contractors in 2008, most of those islands have not yet undergone development. Penguin Marine, a private business, demonstrated in January 2011 that the islands were eroding. 
the world's islands were sinking because the passages between them were becoming clogged. By that time, property prices in the Emirates had dropped by 58% and the Dubai real estate market had rebounded as a result of a global economic recovery from the Great Recession. However, the plan for the world island was that four significant transportation hubs would be connected by waterways to serve as transport options to the world islands. Among other things, land parcels are allegedly zoned for estate, mid-density, high-density, resort and commercial users. The idea was to submerge the utilities and then pump clean water from water treatment facilities located at each hub of the islands. The Dubai grid was supposed to provide power and distribute it via underwater cables as of February 2015. However, the developers are currently compelled to provide their own power using diesel generators. In addition to this, each island has its own unique problems with waste and trash disposal systems. World Islands' is current developments Numerous reports have indicated that the project will resume since it was halted in 2008. The Heart of Europe project was the most convincing for a long time. According to the Kleindienst Group's vision of the Heart of Europe development, a small number of the world's islands will be transformed into Europe's continent and, in some places, fake weather conditions like rain and snow will be created. The Heart of Europe project's luxury hotels, private mansions and floating villas are designed to transport guests to various European cities like Monaco, Venice, Sweden and Germany. For the most part, the ambitious project is still in its infancy, so the group is trying to attract potential investors and gauge their interest. However, the most exciting addition to the World Islands is, without a doubt, the Anantara World Islands, which opened in February of this year and are situated in the islands' of South America region. Among the resort's 70 accommodations are the beach villas, pool villas and suites, each with a private balcony, deck or a terrace. Among the many amenities are a floating lounge, an open-air movie theatre and a Thai-themed spa. There are lots of restaurants and bars at the resort to choose from. Additionally, Anantara is the only open resort on the entire archipelago, offering views of Dubai's main city and unparalleled privacy and isolation. Visitors staying elsewhere in Dubai who just want a glimpse of the fabled world islands rather than an overnight stay can arrange to visit a Lebanon island, the only island completed when work on the project initially stopped in 2008. Guests can visit Lebanon Island on day trips and use its beaches, beach club and restaurant with a pool. In addition, the island can be rented exclusively for weddings, corporate events and private parties. Additionally, private yachts can be rented for boat tours of the deserted islands. Are Dubai's world islands for sale? The opportunities for development and acquisition are for the most part kept a closely guarded secret. Although only one individual island was listed for sale at the time of publication, an earlier private islands incorporated listing for the entire collection harks back to when the World Islands was just an exciting concept. It's not specified which island it is, but the listing states that it is 505,925 square feet, undeveloped and available for $16 million. If the Anantara Resort lives up to expectations, the island could quickly increase in value, although this may seem like a lot when considering the baggage associated with the World Islands project. Private purchase opportunities in the heart of Europe are also available to anyone interested in owning a portion of the World Islands. The project allows investors to purchase either a second home on one of the resort islands, which includes luxury villas and mansions, or a very exclusive selection of entirely private islands. All these islands will have the extensive amenities of the hotels inspired by Europe right at their doorsteps. In addition, Nakheel Group is further developing Coral Island, a resort spread across 20 islands in the North American region. A hotel, village and marina will be included in the low-rise development. The second confirmed development is investment dar of Kuwait's acquisition of the 14 islands that make up Australia and New Zealand. The islands are being terraformed in preparation for establishing an Okuyana Resort. Salia Corporation announced in April 2008 that it had acquired the islands of Finland and Brunei and planned to turn them into resorts with a fashion theme. Salia bought the islands for about 800 million dirhams or $218 million and plans to spend an additional 2.4 billion dirhams or $654 million on development. A fashion TV resort will be built on Brunei Island and FTV Palace. A fashion community will be built on Finland Island. Sure, all of this sounds ambitious and impossible, but as of late 2013, only two of the islands had been developed. What do you think about the world's islands, Dubai? Do you believe the project will be a success? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this. 
press the bell icon to never miss any upcoming video and thank you for watching.